how are you today? I hope you are always happy, healthy, and full of joy. Um, thank you very much for staying in the channel. We meet again with me, Aisha, in Asia Bookstore channel. Today, I have a very charming storybook to read together. The title is, here is the book. A bunny spider bay, a bunny's tail. It's a heartwarming story to tell about the world of friendship and the beauty of growing together and the magic that happen if we open our hearts to new friends. The content of the book tells us about Elsie and her family who live peacefully in a charming bureau but are unaware of their journey through life will soon bring to unexpected connection. As they follow their path and their family grows, they begin to hear a distant call. A distant call with inviting new friends into their life. This call leads them into various adventures, each bringing their own unique strengths and kindness. Together, they bring their community based on friendship, support, and the joy of sharing their lives into one another. Well, my reading friends, it's really a heartwarming story to tell to read together. Well, uh, if you have a copy of this book, go get it so we can read together with me. A Bunny's Tale Elsie suit with less of find and tiny little pearls and very far from Elsie's world lived two enchanting girls. Elsie was a rabbit, a seamstress, so petite, for she had a very nimble paws and tiny, tiny feet. She sewed fancy wedding gowns, trimmed lovely netted veils. Elsie outfit heavy brides in flattering details. But she teetered under heavy loads on her tiny soles, bustling, hustling in her shop. Her shoes were full of holes. So, Elsie stopped to see a cobbler. His name was Russell Sprout. He took one look at her and said, How do you get about? Russell was a rabbit, with a sensitive red nose. He patched shoes with broken heels and boots with leaky toes. The skin of love soon filled the air as he made Elsie's booth. They fell in love, they tied a knot, and began to put down roots. Meanwhile, the girls so far away watched their papa don his coat. They watched him as he sailed away in his tiny fishing boat. The couple soon had we all oh, sorry, the couple soon had we once. Baby Blossom was the first, and Bloom was born thereafter, still asleep in Alice's pores. The happiness grew day by day, the garden was a dream. The shop was known for hair culture. Life was perfect, it would seem. Elsie worked through the night, she stood with tired eyes. One early morning at her branch, he felt a big surprise. A dozen dozer rumbled in and shoved their home into the bay. Everything came tumbling down over that dreadful day. A fishing skiff was pitched on shore with torn and tattered sails. The bunnies landed in the boat, aimed at the post and pails. Elsie teetered on the bow. Oh! What are we to do? My garden, it's ruined, and my fancy dresses too. Russell's 
always cheery said. At last, we're safe and sound. And though we have no carrots, I smell seafood all around. Elsie felt quite crabby. Russell, things are very green. We eat carrots, never fish, and bunnies cannot swim. Russell patched up all the holes around the little boat. He worked so hard, both day and night, to keep the home afloat. Some fishermen arrived at one day and offered him a job. His nose could help let them all the fish to nail through hail and fog. They know a place, he told his wife, where we can live and grow. I will make a home for you and be back before you know. Elsie was a seamstress who used a crimson thread. She tied a knot on Rosal's thumbs and held the other hand, and held the other end. Don't fail, don't sail far, my dear cobbler. But in time of great distress, took heart three times over on his blind. I will really beg to us. May your love help swell your sail and your journey out to sea. Our hopes are but a tiny bird. Please return to me. The weeks went by. No bird returned. Elsie held tight to the trap. Then one night, three mighty yanks and her heart, it filled with dread. And as the storm took hold of them, Elsie heard a tiny voice. Help! Please come and give glad dreams. So Elsie made a choice. And that night, they did change course. Elsie let go of the cord. She knew when children called for help, they shouldn't be ignored. Elsie, as Elsie dug, she saw her tracks wrapped tightly around the pier, and if it was enough to tell her, Russell's sport was here. Elsie, I have met two girls who've made a dreadful mess. It was a little accident, a ruined, red, a ruined wedding dress. I told them help will always come from unexpected places. And when they call my seamstress wife, they met surprising faces. So, this is how the bandits came even in that heaven by the bay, that heaven by the bay tending lonely children and delighting them each day. The friendship grows year by year. The garden is a dream. Then long came little bud, and life was perfect, it would seem. So, the little ones of Bower Bay keep hopes and dreams alive. They mend and tend. They saw and sue, and together they will thrive. My reading friends, this is the end of the story about the bunny tales. Um, if you have find this channel useful, you please subscribe and give thumbs up. And uh, thank you very much for stopping by. We meet again in the next video. And I hope you are always happy every day, full of joy and healthy. Okay, thank you very much. Happy reading, everyone. See you.